The string at method in JavaScript lets you access characters in a string by index. Now, if you've worked with JavaScript strings, you're probably familiar doing this using the bracket accessor syntax. So here, for instance, I have a string. And if I wanted to access the second character in that string, I would use the bracket accessor syntax here. So I'd go and uh, place brackets after the string, and then I would pass the index that I want to access. So if I wanted the second character, I would actually pass in one because these indexes are zero based. So in this case, it's going to return B, which is the second character in the string. Now the string at method does the same thing. It goes and looks up characters in a string by index, but it adds some additional functionality that can be quite useful. Let's first take a look at the basic use of string at. So going back to our string here, if we wanted to access the second character in that string, instead of using the bracket syntax, we can just say dot at, pass in the index that we want. Again, this is zero based, so we're going to pass in one to access the second character in that string, and we get back B, the same as we we're getting with the bracket accessor syntax above. If we wanted to access the first character, we could just pass in zero, if we wanted to access the fifth character, we would just go and pass in four, for instance, and now we're getting the fifth character in the string here. At this point, you might be wondering why you'd want to use string at versus the bracket accessor syntax. And for cases like this, it is really just kind of a matter of personal preference. However, string at includes some additional functionality that can be quite useful. For instance, let's say that you wanted to access the last character in a string. Now, doing this with the bracket syntax can be a little tricky. We'd have to do something like, let's go back here and go and save our string to a variable. So we'll say stir is equal to the string we're working with. And then to get the uh, last character in that string, we'd say stir, and using the bracket syntax, stir.length to get the very last character, and then minus one to go and convert that to an index. And you can see that this is now going and returning the last character in the string. That's kind of verbose, and having to do stir.length uh, minus one is really uh, not, not the cleanest thing there. It's easy to forget to do minus one as well, and then you get back undefined, which is never very fun. And that's where string at can be a lot cleaner. So let's go back here. And instead, we could use string at to access the last character in the string just by passing in an index of negative 1. Notice how this is now returning the very last character in the string. Anytime that a negative number is passed in, instead of starting from the start of the string, it, string at is actually going to start counting backwards from the end of the string here. So here, we're going to go backwards. So if we wanted the third to the last character in the string, we just say negative 3 here. And now we're getting the third to the last character in the string. This makes it very concise to access characters starting from the end of the string. Now, you do have to keep in mind that you can also go off the end of the string when using negative indexes. So let's go in here. And if I said something like negative 20, this is now going to return undefined because we've started at the end of the string and then tried to go backwards 20 characters. And there's just are not enough characters in the string. It's the same type of thing that happens if we were going and saying string at with 20 here where we're starting at the start, and then there's just not 20 characters in the string, so it's going to return undefined in both the positive and negative case if we exceed the length of the string. So that's just a quick look at the string at method. Anytime you need to access characters starting from the end of the string, I highly recommend that you use string at as it's a lot less error prone and can be a lot more concise as well.